Welcome to this presentation. In this video, we are going to discuss a question on logarithmic equations. So the question reads, solve the following simultaneous equations. Logarithm of x plus y to base 10 is equal to 0. And twice logarithm of x to base 10 is equal to logarithm of y plus 1 to base 10. Well, before we solve this, we need to recall, given logarithm of a to base b is equal to c, this can be expressed in index notation, that is b raised to c is equal to a. So you simply take the base b, raise it to c, and that will be equal to a. And also, if you have a number raised to 0, then the result should be equal to 1. Now, we are going to apply these to the first equation. Given the first equation, logarithm of x plus y to base 10 is equal to 0, we will have to express this in index notation so that we have 10 raised to 0 is equal to x plus y. So that here we have x plus y is equal to 10 raised to 0. And once again, a number raised to 0 is 1, just as we have here. So that this equation becomes x plus y is equal to 1. So let's have this as our first equation. Now for the second equation, once again, we'll have to recall that n log b to base c can be expressed as logarithm of b raised to n to base c. That is, n becomes the power of b, just as shown on the right hand side. And another thing, if you are given logarithm of x to base b equals logarithm of y to base b, that is, if the bases are the same, both on the left hand side and the right hand side, then we can drop the logs and equate x to y, that is x is equal to y. So we will apply these to the second equation. So given the second equation, twice log x to base 10 is equal to log y plus 1 to base 10. So we'll apply this first rule to the left hand side of this equation so that we have logarithm of x raised to 2 that is 2 becomes the power of x is equal to logarithm of y plus 1 to base 10. Now at this point we are going to apply this second rule where the left hand side and the right hand side have logarithm to the same base that is logarithm to base 10 here and logarithm to base 10 on the right hand side. So we are going to drop the logs so that we have x squared equated to y plus 1 just like we had here. Log x to base b is equal to log y to base b because the logarithms are expressed to the same base we can drop the logs and have x equals to y. So we'll have x squared is equal to y plus 1. We can call this our second equation. Now solving the two equations, we can use substitution method. So we are going to express y in terms of x in this first equation and then we substitute it in the second equation. So we say y is equal to 1 minus x, that is if x crosses to the right hand side. And then substituting this in the second equation, we will have the second equation being x squared is equal to, and now in place of y, we'll have to write 1 minus x, so that we have 1 minus x, and then plus 1, we have plus 1 there. This equation simplifies further to x squared is equal to 2 minus x. Now we can bring 
all the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side so that we have x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by factorization. So we are going to look for two factors such that their product would be the same as the product of the coefficient of x squared and the constant term negative 2 so that we have their product being negative 2 that is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 and the sum of the two factors should be equal to the coefficient of x here which is 1 so that the sum is 1 well the two factors are negative 1 and 2 now the next thing is to factorize the left hand side of this equation and equate it to 0 so we are going to do this let's have these two brackets and in each bracket we'll begin with x and then ours is to insert these factors in the brackets so that we have negative 1 inserted here and positive 2 inserted right there now we can apply this so long as we are equating to 0 so from this equation here we can have the first bracket equated to 0 that is x minus 1 is 0 and that means the value of x is 1 and if x is 1 the corresponding value of y will become so we'll substitute the value of x in this equation so that we have y becoming 0 similarly for the second bracket we'll have to equate it to 0 x plus 2 is 0 and that means x is negative 2 and if x is negative 2 we can substitute again in this equation and get the value of y as 3 and from this we can finally conclude that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 3 and this brings us to the end of this presentation. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.